Welcome back to another episode of Inside Access Control, sponsored by SIA. Very excited today to have Robert McMillan. He's with VXG, and he's the VP of Sales and Marketing. Robert, thanks for taking the time to join me. Thanks so much, Lee. I love what you're doing. No, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so, uh, interesting company, different approach to the marketplace. Uh, we were introduced actually by a, a, a common uh, industry friend, if you would, and who was very excited about what you're doing. You and I we caught up about it and definitely see an opportunity. Uh, so love having you on, uh, have the opportunity to tell people what you're doing, what you're seeing. Um, mm -hmm. And then let's get into sort of the opportunities around that. But before we do that, can you just introduce yourself, tell a little bit about your story, people like to hear that, but then also the company story, that'd be great. Yeah, for sure. So uh, my name is Robert McMillan. I'm the VP of Sales and Marketing uh, at VXG, which is short for Video Experts Group. Um, a little bit about me, my background is in app development and sales. I realized that uh, sitting on a computer and programming maybe wasn't my forte, so I went more to the uh, sales side, talking with people. And at VXG, we are licensing a, a white label platform that can connect to any camera and then stream that video in a website or an app and then connect that camera to any artificial intelligence. So a very open platform. Yeah, so with that, it's, it's the idea being that if I'm an access control provider that wants to get into the video side, historically, traditionally, I did an integration, but what you all are doing is you're giving the opportunity for people to bring a product to marketplace. So you handle everything for them. Exactly. And we work a lot with, um, say, product developers or product managers and try to help bring their idea or vision to life. Okay, so you can customize it for them. Oh, definitely, definitely. Uh, as I said, we're white labeled. So oftentimes people have a, a little bit different idea about what they want to see or how it should be integrated or, you know, something they need that's different than the competition. And we help with that. Okay, so you're, you're the guys behind the guys. Um, we're the guys behind the guys. We try to be. So we've worked with the, some the, of the, the people stars. behind the people. It's, exactly. Uh, yeah. Very inclusive. Um, right. So, so give me a little bit, if you don't mind, like more a little bit on the background. So, you know, what, what gives you all permission, if you would, uh, to do this in the market? Uh, so from our standpoint, we saw it, it's um, been a very closed market for the most part. Um, people only sell one kind of camera. They only connect to one artificial intelligence. Uh, for us, we wanted people to be able to work with any kind of camera. Uh, we wanted to be able to watch it in a website uh, or in a mobile app. And then we wanted to be able to connect to any AI. So you, don't, you shouldn't be stuck um, using one camera and one AI. So that's where we came from. I got you. And on that, so it's almost like a infrastructure as a service or what, what is the model called? More infrastructure, uh, kind of a platform as, platform a, service. as a service. So, so generally you. we have our dashboard and our platform and then people are using our uh, open API to access that video and incorporate it in their apps or into their websites. I got you. And is there a, a particular like perfect customer, if you would, like who, who I know you can probably do anybody. I get that. But um, when you look at your customer set, is it ones that are uh, going after a certain market or customer type or they're made up a certain way? What, what's the typical best, best customer type? Yeah, I, th I think our best customer is someone who's kind of looking for a future solution. So there's a lot of these people and I've, I read your article about the power uh, structures and, and I found that pretty interesting. There's a lot of these kind of old school guys who are stuck in their ways. Uh, we're not really good with those guys. We're trying to look for the people who are looking for an innovative solution where um, maybe traditionally you haven't seen that. So we're working with product managers or uh, product developers, engineers who are kind of gearing towards a more future uh, solution. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm in courage that you read my stuff so thank you for, for doing that but but it, it is interesting it's uh I, I feel like we're at a point where people are making selections on what historically has been like who's good for me today yeah. um and there's a need to also understand who's good for you tomorrow and being able to balance the two of that is is extremely important on that side so um yeah that is that one of those power structures that has existed is sort of the we do a lot of stuff through the rear view mirror versus you know, even if you have one eye on the back, there needs to be one eye on the front, uh, at least of where we're going. Totally. And, and another interesting, just while we're on that power structure, um, I think you did a quick blurb about the VC-backed 
power structure. And we're seeing that right now with this company called uh, Wise. Are you familiar with Wise? Wise Very Cam? much so. Yep, absolutely. And so I don't know what their business model is, but basically it's a $20 camera and then they give you cloud recording. So you're paying a one-time fee and then Wise is paying monthly for my cloud recordings and they've just received 20 bucks. But they have this VC money behind them where it's like, how do you compete in this market, right? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, their metrics of, of success are, are very different. I think they're, uh, you know, from a consumer facing side, they're, they're rushing the marketplace to fit a, sort of a, 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 an area that is historically um, hard to do reoccurring, price sensitive, wants the technology. It's a very difficult, it's like a very SEO driven um, uh, consumer base. But I, I get your point on the idea of being like, um, it's hard to compete um, with products because they're moving into the commercial side. I know people do use them there. Um, yep. How do you compete with that? Uh, it's tough. So having a partner, especially if it's not a core competency of yours, working with somebody who you know can get you around the track four laps before you even started, if you would, to to, to sort of accelerate the ability to go into that. It's also though, uh, you know, I. I've been working on something that I think this is uh, relatable to. If, if you start to look at what's happening in the marketplace, you've got three options in my opinion. You can go up to create more applications and sort of own more per door. You could go down and control more of your uh, value chain, if you would, of you know, like offering video, uh, having your own readers, your own credentials, things like that. So you get more dollar per door on that side or horizontal of creating sort of verticalized solutions, like getting into operating systems and the rest of that side. Right. So this, this to me is as convergence happens, if you would, within the access control industry and the video, the ability to offer your own services that you have, as well as I do think there's still opportunity to, to partner. It doesn't limit you. So Totally. But how you do it is typically probably the hardest part, right? It's like, what do what I do? Well, I think how you do it now is you have a really good UI and UX. I think you have a fantastic looking app that's super easy to use and very user friendly. The, the end customer is less focused on, say, some kind of cool technology. They just want to be able, with a few clicks, make something work. You know, see video by pressing two buttons or something like that. They don't care that that... A uh, video has zero latency or 0.1 second latency. That doesn't matter, but they wanted to be able to set it up and see it themselves. So I think UI and UX is becoming uh, a huge factor in driving, uh, say, businesses or, yeah. or companies. Yeah, absolutely. The, the experience, again, before, I think when we were just focused on the admin or the installer and didn't really talk or think about the end user, the experience had to be just good enough for the admin and the, and the installer. Now there's a whole new stakeholder. So that user experience that we talked about is, is ever more important. Um, all right. So if somebody's looking for more information, like how do they find out where's the best place to, to, to learn more about what you all are doing? Totally. Uh, VXG.ca or VideoExpertsGroup.com. And don't ask about uh, VXG.com. The guy wanted six figures from us for that website. So <laughs> we don't have that yet. Uh, we're still a startup. Uh, or find me on LinkedIn, Robert McMillan, uh, VXG on LinkedIn. I love to chat with people. I love to hear new ideas and um, yeah, hit me up. Absolutely. All right, we'll do that. So I appreciate it. So if anyone's looking for video, uh, you're looking for the ability to create your own and white label a solution that's out there now with a lot of people um, to reach out to you and do that. So Thanks, Robert. Thanks. I appreciate you taking the time to do this. Thanks so much, Lee. We'll talk soon. Yes, sir. Bye-bye.